here at Consensus Singapore, it was probably one of the most confusing check-in experiences because uh, this is Tech, tech XLR8. There's, on this board, there's, there's nowhere that says it's Consensus Singapore. <laughs> I'm here to join a panel, and the panel is about uh, the web's original sin. You're punctual. That's good. <laughs> what? Well, also, despite not being able to find the place. Bill Chen, decentralized chief officer with HTC. I've seen this thing a number of times. Just a huge intellectual range. Bill, don't wait in the back. Come on up, guys. I want you guys to start coming to the stage. There's a lot of you to bring up here. Don't be shy. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have Bill Chen, decentralized chief officer from HTC. He's going to talk about the work that they're doing. He's got some exciting things to tell you about. I didn't really get to talk about the two things we really wanted to talk about, which is well, a little bit on the trust zone. We kind of veered off onto you know other stuff, which is important to communicate too. Um, but um, and then we didn't get to talk anything about the social key recovery. But I think the conversation was great because it was about sort of wallet in general, yeah. um, and we got to talk on sort of key concepts too. So it was all in all a good conversation. Uh, didn't get the real points I wanted to get across, but on a higher level, it did. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you were also sharing the stage with like four other people. That's right. South China Morning Post. South China Morning Post. Yeah, they wrote, so he covers blockchain and gaming. Mm -hmm. And his last article on us was, was critical but fair. Um, but it was one of, you could tell he was, you know, thinking about these things. Yeah. Singapore a few days ago and joined a panel about the web's original sin, did maybe 10 plus interviews. And so I was really happy with, you know, a few articles that resulted from this. So the first one, which I'm really happy with is from Tech Radar. You know, it says the HTC Exodus, the blockchain phone that could change the internet as we know it. And that's, that's, what, that's what we believe, right? We're trying to build the new internet. The second article that came out uh, that I was that I really liked was uh, by Wired, uh, Wired.com, is the HTC Exodus blockchain phone comes into focus, and they came out with this graphic uh, themselves with you know a vault sort of uh, slapped onto a phone, right? And that's what we're really about, right? Communicate this secure enclave that we built into the phone, and securing 
people's keys, giving power back to the people, owning their own crypto assets, personal data, things of that nature. And so, yeah, I think we accomplished what we wanted to communicate in Singapore and more. And, you know, I think these few articles that have been written about the exodus has been very positive. And I think, you know, we still have a long road ahead, um, but these are all sort of, you know, I think positive feedback on at least the trajectory and direction that we're heading.